Samsung uh, late last year as a result of the acquisition of Envilo. And uh, at that time, uh, we had a number of solutions. And uh, when we joined with Samsung, we actually embarked on a new set of solutions uh, that uh, directly impact the performance of uh, SSDs and overall system performance. And so I'm very, very pleased to be here today to introduce that technology. And that's rapid, rapid technology. So what Rapid is, is a software solution which uh, sits on the host PC and it is a store solution that will watch, actively uh, monitor and manage all the storage IOs that, um, that will uh, propagate through a system among and between the uh, Windows operating system, uh, user application files, as well as uh, the SSD. And so the intention of this uh, solution, which is paired exclusively with the 840 EVO SSDs from Samsung, is to provide read acceleration as well as write optimization for system level performance boost. So before I go into a little more technical detail, what I'd like to do is show you a quick demo. So our system configuration is a desktop machine, which is a Z77, uh, running Windows 7 Ultimate. Um, actually, Rapid will run on any um, Windows 7 or Windows 8 system. Um, this configuration is uh, using 8 gig um, DRAM, and we've actually had three storage elements, uh, three storage devices on this system. All of them are Samsung 840 EVOs. The first one, is uh, the primary OS drive, which is the one terabyte drive. And so Mr. Kim um, is highlighting the Samsung one terabyte drive here uh, through the uh, magician GUI. And so that was announced earlier today. Um, very, very large capacity, the very first of its kind, um, and uh, an incredible, incredible device. On top of that, we have two other storage devices. One which is an EVO, um, an 840 EVO, 250 gig SSD, and then an identical device, 250 gig SSD as well. Um, one of which is accelerated with Rapid, and then the other one is natively uh, connected to a 6 gig SATA port. Actually, both of them are connected to a 6 gig SATA port. So what we'll do is uh, drop down to the, the Rapid mode, um, and you can see up there, we have already enabled uh, rapid mode. And it's yep, kind of right there. And so what we will, would like to do is uh, do a quick and dirty benchmark. And as Jonathan mentioned, we have a benchmarking tool as part of Magicians. And so we will first run a benchmark um, against the native unaccelerated SSD. And maybe you guys can give us a, um, a hand, and uh, let's give uh, Mr. Kim an indication on when to, when to go. Maybe we can count one, two, three, go. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, and so this will take about 20 seconds. What it does is it runs a uh, set of sequential, sequential writes, followed by sequential reads, and then random writes, followed by random reads. Okay, and so this is uh, almost complete. So I can't see up there, but looking over Mr. Kim's shoulder here, uh, you'll see that uh, this matches the spec and actually exceeds the spec, the rated spec that we have um, that we have published um, with uh, today's launch. And so, very very impressive, right? Uh, this is you know nearly exceeding the or nearly matching the uh, six gig throughput of the uh, the SATA port. Um, at uh, 540 megabytes per second on the reads and 520 megabytes per second on the, on the writes. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, next step, what I'd like to do is actually see what Rebecca can do. So maybe I can get some help again. One, two, three. Okay, and so now we're running rapid, and uh, let's see what we get with performance here. And maybe um, if you scroll down so we can see both results. Ah, so we've got the sequential reads and sequential writes improved just a little bit, right? So sequential read, we actually doubled, okay? So this is at, uh, I don't know, what do you say? Do you say 1,000 megabytes per second or one gigabyte per second? Okay, so that's 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 quite impressive, right? This is this is you know way beyond what the statistics speak for can do, and that kind of gives you an idea of what uh, what Rapid can do. And uh, we've got some other scores here, which is uh, which is pretty impressive. But let's go into um, Crystal Disk Mark. So with the with the, uh, the randoms, uh, this is kind of a, a smattering of different. Uh, different uh, size packets and, uh, and QDEPs. So let's go to a Crystal Disk Mark and run a Crystal Disk Mark spec, um, benchmark against uh, against the raw drive. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, so just take that minute. And um, what's nice about the Crystal Disk Mark, and I think everyone in the audience has probably played with it or seen uh, articles or uh, reviews, this is essentially the bread and butter of um, of figuring out you know, the corners of the uh, storage performance. And so what we have is the um, sequential reads followed by sequential writes on top. Um, and then it will go into the 512 reads and writes. So this is, again, you know, matching up exactly with uh, what, um, what has been published um, in, our, in our material. Okay, now this is the, the 512. And um, now we're starting 4K random reads uh, at a Q depth of 1. And how many feel no difference between Q depths 1 and 32, for example? Any hands? Oh, no, no, good, good. So you, you guys are detecting ones. You guys can come up here and give the, give the pitch. Well, the, the main difference between, uh, and actually for, for Windows environment, there's um, there's a lot of tapping that happens at the QW of, uh, of one and uh, at smaller um, smaller chunk sizes, right? And the main uh, activity there is really Windows doing a lot of background work, um, doing a little um, writes and little modifies to, to different files. And that typically is what will cause your PC to run and stutter, run and stutter. Okay, and so that it's kind of an indicator of, you know, you need a better storage solution. And of course, um, you know, what uh, Jonathan shared with you earlier today, uh, at Samsung, we are really focused on making sure that your random write performance, your random read performance is uh, improved. And so this is showing, you know, we are getting, um, you know, 40 uh, megabytes per second, close to uh, 10, 10K IOPS, and then, um, and then the, the writes are 140 uh, megabytes per second. And so this is a pretty dramatic improvement from the previous, um, previous generation. Okay, so this is, these are all good numbers. Um, and that's just what we have, uh, have shared already. So, what do you think? Should we take a look at uh, the evil with uh, with Rapid Enable? If that's what we're here for. Okay, so ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> okay. And uh, and now we'll see we'll, we'll see what Rapid can do. Okay. And so uh, a few things to to note first is that Rapid technology includes several different technologies inside. One of which is uh, read acceleration. The second is um, write optimization. And read acceleration is really, um, actually let me scroll forward real quick. Read acceleration is technology that we have created to help manage um, the, the um, system resources in your, in your PC a little bit better. So what we have found through um, 
through different tests and through uh, work with, uh, with, um, with different user groups is that uh, a lot of PCs are over spec in terms of CPU and DRAM. And, um, and so what we can do is, but it is under spec in, in terms of storage, right? So that's where SSDs come into play. And, um, and so SSDs provide a huge boost in that area. What we can do on top of that, though, is we're still for spec on the CPU and the DRAM. Let's leverage that, okay, to provide an even bigger performance boost. And that's what we're seeing here, right? And so you'll see that uh, for the read performance, it's improved um, fairly dramatically, especially on the, um, on the, uh, the, the 512K. Um, the sequential reads up there is uh, we, we have not taken caching uh, the cache effect completely into effect yet. And so as we continue to run, you actually get even better performance. Okay, and so this is the, the end result here. Okay, so take a look at it. Take pictures, please. <laughs> this, is, this is the, the, the ultimate uh, result of, of the, um, at least the first result of um, the acquisition and the technology um, development between Samsung and, uh, and the Vilo team. And it's, uh, it's pretty exciting. Um, you take a look specifically at the 4K random reads and writes. You know, as I mentioned earlier, we have improved the random read and write behavior within the device. Okay, now, pairing it with software, we can dramatically change the landscape there. We're able to bring the random write performance all the way up to 500 megabytes per second or over 100 gig in um, iOS. Okay. So that's, I think that's a, that's a real accomplishment. Um, okay, so what we'd like to do, and thank you, Mr. Kim, uh, what I'd like to do is actually continue on with the technology discussion um, and tell you how we actually are able to accomplish this. Okay, and, um, and what we have, again, is this read acceleration technology that uh, leverages spare CPUs, spare DRAM, in order to maximize the storage uh, performance. And so what we have is um, a caching environment which will intelligently uh, manage the hot data. And this kind of augments the Windows operating system cache manager itself. Where the Windows operating system does some caching, it's actually fairly simple, right? It uh, really looks at the late, the, um, the most recently used data and pops it into the DRAM, okay, kind of willy-nilly, right? So if you're, you know, doing some Outlook every day, you know, it's, and you're, you're actively using it, it goes into the cache, but as soon as you do something else, it might get evicted, okay? And so what we have done is take a look at, you know, and monitor what kind of data is being used, how, not just how recently it's used, but also how frequently. Okay, so we can get a little more intelligent about, okay, this is actually something that's valuable to you, okay? And then we can also take a look at what kind of data is being 